what I caught. Right now, you saw we just caught some bull reds this morning. That was extremely fun, man. I had, it's always a blast catching those things during the daytime, especially on top water. But now we switched up. We're inside this uh, bay system here, undisclosed location. Just got a hit. And we're looking for flounder right now. Throwing a curly tail. Um, boxer lure from Fish Bites on a quarter ounce or a 316 jig head. You really feel like you're throwing. Just slow work in the bottom of the wrong structure. Let's see if we can pick up a flounder. I'm going back up and show you what I was using. This is the setup I'm using right here. Fairly simple. Um, I'm no expert at catching flounder. I don't know, as you can tell by that cast. But that's the goal for today. Got a fish on. Little flounder. What are we going for? But he's way too small. Uh, they gotta be 14 to keep. He's barely 12. A little guy. Good flounder. Yep, good flounder. Oh, it's a really good flounder. Oh my gosh. No. <sighs> that sucks. That was a really good flounder. Nope, stay down, stay down. That's a good one. Nope, no, no. Nah. Come on, homie. Get that fish, man. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. Boy, you hit good too. Whew. I didn't get the whole hook set on it, but he hammered that thing. I, I set the hook like a damn sheep head. Finally got a legal one. Well, it looks legal on the board. Yeah, it definitely looks legal. About time, baby. About time. I'm working so hard for this dang fish. It's ridiculous. I am. I'm gonna get a good measurement on the first. What'd you say? 16. Right on the dot, son. Maybe 16 and a quarter. Yeah, that's a nice fish. There you go, guys, look. There you go, guys, look. Beautiful flounder. Finally got one. I mean, I call a smaller one, hook two, but finally got one on the board. This guy's gonna eat great. Excited about that. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, this is what I caught. Yeah. That stick weighed a, that's about 350. Tree pounder. Jeez. I thought I had a good flounder on too. That's embarrassing. What's going on guys? I'm back in the kitchen. I got this flounder already cleaned up, ready to go. My camera is not focusing. There it is. All right, so let's get started. There's only a couple ingredients you need to make this blackened uh, flounder. One of my favorite recipes is very delicious. Um, it's simple, all you need is uh, butter and some type of blackened seasoning. So you got a stick of butter. I got some of this uh, seasoning, uh, Chris Paul. I'm sorry, I got some of the seasoning Chef Paul. 
uh, blackening seasoning. This pretty much stuff is kind of iconic for blackened fish. Very good. Fairly cheap. It's good at Publix or Walmart. I like it. It's very good. So what I went ahead and done already. Go ahead and trimmed up my flounder. See how white these fillets are. Very white. Use a sword knife to trim them up because it's very sharp. Great knife. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment below. I will leave a link in the description for these great knives. Full tang. Amazing grip. Sharp. And flexible. And it comes with the awesome Kydex sheet. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and season these bad boys up. I'm going to season these up with some blackening seasoning. Alright guys. So I got my blackening seasoning. You want to make sure your fish is nice and dried off. And you want to kind of uh, sprinkle this on uh, generously, you know. So you can get the nice coat. So let's make the first coat going by like this. All over the fish. The more you put on, the spicier it probably will be. Because how much you like spice. Once you do that, I like to take my hand, nice clean hand, and just pat it in. Make a good seasoning. You want to do that on both sides of the fish. I'm going to flip these bad boys over like so. You know, crazy thing is about this flounder, I did not even bleed this fish. I completely forgot. And look how white that meat is still. On both sides. Alright. Now we got it. Go and pat that in on both sides. Next thing we're going to do is get our cast iron skillet nice and hot. You want that thing steaming hot. So get your nice cast iron skillet. So go ahead and get your cast iron skillet. Turn that heat on. And it might be a good idea to do this outside. It might get a little smoky. But I'm going to turn my fan on, on so it will help. Let that get hot. I'll go ahead and put a little olive oil in it. Just to lube it up a little bit. And that's where the butter comes in. Go ahead and put that butter in there and let it get nice and hot. Once it starts steaming, that's when you add your fish. Alright guys, we have the iron skillet a boiling. Now we're going to add our blackened fish. Lay it there. When you lay these down, lay them away from you. So you don't burn yourself. Now you probably won't let these go for about a minute to a minute and a half on each side depending on the thickness of it. So it's going to chest back when it gets, uh, when it's starting to look white, I'm going to get it flipped. Alright guys, just got them flipped. I couldn't do it on the camera. I'm only here by myself right now, so. It's kind of hard to flip and record at the same time. Now this is what they look like. Nice brown. Almost like a burnt tint to it. That's what you want on black and seasoning. Or in my opinion that is. Let's check them out. They're about done. They're going to play it up and we're going to test this thing out. Alright guys, the fish is done. I'm going to go ahead and plate it. All I do is make some noodles, add a little butter and garlic, and some basil to it. And we're going to plate it up and try it. Fish, got some uh, fresh blackened flounder, using the blackened seasoning like I sold you. Of course, we're going to give it a taste test. It's just falling off the fork. And there it is. Nice white meat, flaky. Guys, give this a try. You can try this actually any fish you catch. All you need is buy this black system I sold you. Use a cast iron skillet, some butter, heat it up hot, and drop it in there. You got a delicious meal just like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.